Up cut, killers. Yeah. All of them. You cannot sleep. And this is especially a match you can't sleep. Keep those eyes open because this is going to be a fun one for sure. They're starting things off on Pokemon Stadium 2. Squirtle on lock. I actually really like Squirtle for this match in particular. Just because Squirtle's able to do what Mario wants to do. Right. Combo heavy, stick right on top of you. Doesn't have to worry about if you want to try and box him out because he can do it just as well. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see. You know, it's gonna Squirtle like almost feel like playing the the Ditto matchup, but he gets and there's the Ivysaur that we were waiting for. The walls out, the up airs are coming. Uh, able to air dodge that confirmed though with the Vine Whip. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be tough. This is really already not looking good of a start for Dark Wizzy, but it's still early in the match to see what adaptation is able to make. Good, uh, good cape. I forgot about that. You know, cape to the uh, the Razor Leaf wall, but the Razor Leaf is not the the issue getting in. It's the you know, it's all, everything else that you have to get through in order to happen. Curious, he switched, he switched to Charizard. I right, can do that. that. <laughs> Listen, if you, want it, if you wanted to look at the Pokemon as weapons, all Charizard is, is a big club. He's just a big old stick that you get to beat the hell out of your opponent with. He doesn't need to do anything fancy. He doesn't even need to do it well. He just needs to hit hard. And that's all Wish has needed him for. So yeah. Now we're going to see him bounce right back onto Squirtle. And Squirtle actually fills a really important role in this matchup in particular, where he can just get right to that 50% marker. We saw it as soon as he reached 55 on the last stock, 50 on this stock. Wow. Squirtle hit the bench, because that's all he needed to do. And look how quick that stock was. That was amazing Pokemon trainer play, which is, you know, just making it happen left and right. Uh, start, you know, as soon as that up air hit, was like, oh man, I, this is not a good situation to be in. And he really, you know, unfortunately for Dark Wizzy, he has, really hasn't gotten anything going momentum-wise. He's getting a you know, stray hit here or there, a down tilt confirmed, but nothing big that you know the Marios are very well known for. Get it back to this, probably should kill. Yeah, even Charizard being a little on the heavier side, that seals that stock, and here we go. Squirtle's back out, and it was going to be a tough matchup when it was even stocks. It's a hell of a lot tougher now with being down a full stock deficit. But he's doing big Mario combos, and he, wow, he read the Pokemon switch and continued the combo. Dark Wizzy sometimes knows something about the game that like, most mortals just do not. <laughs> he has to have that sense when he's playing. He, he wants to stay dedicated to Mario. And Mario struggles a lot harder in this game than previous iterations. Just because everything that he can do, a lot of characters can do better. A lot of characters can approach easier, stick on their opponents better, deal more damage. But when you're this dedicated, when you're this talented of a character specialist, you got to put respect on the name. Because even though Wizzy was in deep in the hole, all of a sudden we're looking at the tie battle luck. Yeah, he's actually uh, roared into the lead now. Yeah, we were talking about it was three stock alert, uh, you know, for, for Wizzy. And now he's battled it back even a little bit behind but just one exchange away from really bringing it out. But the question is going to be, did he burn all of his reads that he built up against uh, Wishes to get back into the match? And does he have anything left in the tank to seal the deal on game one? But he doesn't. Oh, my God, what a down air. Kept the pressure on, got the air dodge with the mind whip. was amazing. Yes. So let me, let me get a replay on that. <laughs> uh, this is the ground control. Let me see that play one more time, please, because I just want to highlight how perfect that play was from Wishes. We saw how well he was able to Nair, and Nair tries to confirm yeah. it to the Vine Whip. Vine Whip, if that's not going to be killing, Wizzy put himself in the worst position possible, right there for the sweet spot of Downer. Mind you, Downer's taking up plenty of space. I'm not going to front. That's not that much the, the bottom, the, the underneath spirit bomb, the downward air, the, the aerial down smash. But like, it is massive. <laughs> I feel like that just makes it all the worse for Wizzy because he had so much room to maneuver, and he chose the spot that was the worst for him, which has reacted perfectly and just like that exploded. Game one, Pokemon very fast paced. He was just starting to bring it back, but it was a very grim beginning for him. Let's see if he's going to be able to bounce back as we head into game two. Yeah, they're sticking to the same characters, and it's Pokemon Stadium 2. And if you're Wizzy, you just kind of got to think you got hit by Wish's best punches, stock one and stock two. But you had some of your, you know, some momentum of your own. You just got to tap into it and dig deep and find that stock two Mario that you were throwing out that did so much work, and maybe you can bring it back one game at a time. Let's see if we're going to have a game three or if Wish is going to bring it home immediately. And already they're going into the neutral game. Back here's off stage, and Wish is able to battle back from that ledge guard situation. Wizzy might have wanted to capitalize a little bit more than he did. And so just the Ivysaur. Ivysaur out on the field as it's confirmed. Doesn't quite get a good uh, DI coming out from Wizzy. 
Shard, I like that. Spot dodge straight, just goes in for the jabs, trying to take out, alleviate a little bit of pressure. But you gotta get what you can get here. You go for the down throw, what's it going to be? The DI to escape the situation, but look at the damage that's being put on now. Big Lizard time. And he goes for that out smash, doesn't get it, and this is kind of the trouble situation. If he had Charizard in a disadvantage, he tries to read a shield drop. Big four smash coming out from Wizzy. Not enough to kill, but enough to put him in disadvantage off stage. It might be a back air that'll kill. And Wish has scouted that out. He came up with a preemptive forward air and stuff the back air. But an out smash of his own. Dark Wizzy actually takes the lead coming here in the game, too. But finally confirmed, I'll take the stock, and we're dead even coming through. It's one of the things I love most about Razor Leaf. It's not like a traditional projectile that you would see from, say, for instance, uh, Villager, Mega Man, Duck Hunt, Sanish, one of the, what have you. It's a very much similar to the Flame Arrow we see from Young Link, where all it needs to do is just poke. It just needs to be that one little hit confirmed, because I was able to close the distance so quickly. And then you got a plethora of kill options. It's all a matter of which one you take. And Fine Whip and Hand Wishes just taking stocks as fast as you can. A lot of the times you kind of feel like you're in that checkmate situation. You get hit by one stray razor leaf, and it's, you know, sometimes that's all she wrote for the stock. But we're both our competitors playing it pretty even. The Squirtle's out, trying to play that Mario style ditto, but which just goes right back to the Ivysaur. And we've been seeing Ivysaur do so much work, but Wizzy put it, pressed in the advantage, almost connects a forward air off stage. And Charizard's uh, out again, and Dark Wizzy in a little bit of trouble. Which is feeling, feeling the momentum, picks up that up air, and takes the stock and now he's looking a lot better than he was. He's got a little bit of a lead, some comfortable risks that he can take having been only at 68% the stock. Wow, <laughs> almost read that roll and uh, that could have been a big pickup for Dark Wizzy. Yeah, if Squirtle didn't have as good of a roll as he has, that could have been deadly, but... Yeah, and, he has a, and he has the other Pokemon right there in that roll. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> like, I was sure his roll, nothing to write home about. Charizard, big boy, so it doesn't matter where he's going. But nonetheless, setting ourselves very similar situation to the beginning of all of these stocks. Just a few hits here and there, and we should doing such a good job of making sure to at least counter zone. Sees the fireballs, it's Razor Leaf time. He knows he's going to be able to close that distance and rack up the damage. And already was in oh, quite a bit of trouble on his last stock. This sense racking up, almost got that neutral, uh, the neutral get up pickup. That was pretty scary overall. The Charizard's out. Is there an up air? He air dodges through. That was very close. Flare Blitz back to recovery. And yeah, we're back into neutral. There's an up smash. Yeah, you can tell which is really uh, fiending for that shield drop. What? A he gets Flare it with the tech creed as well? <laughs> All right, buddy. All right. You got it. Who does that? All right, here Every we go. With it. <laughs> I like that. And here it's like, all right, I'm heavy. Want to see me do it again? Raise the roll. And oh, that, that was gross. I don't know if he picked up. Like, maybe he had a Wiz Wizzy had like a roll habit out of, you know, that. That neutral exchange is kind of that reset roll, and he's like, oh, I think he's going to do it from across the stage. Let me put the one hitbox that I have that reaches across the stage, and by the way, it hits like a truck, and it's going to take the stock. Man, I, I love I love Flare Blitz as a tech read option, because yeah. people forget it goes so far. Right. The hitbox is minuscule. It's actually comically small, 